Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss how to create the new flow. For the requirement, suppose you are working on the Microsoft team and you are having some conversation and you want like when you type some message and send it to some members then the same time a email should be delivered to the some recipients. We can check the requirement of the flow with this diagram. So we have two steps as you can see in the diagram. In the left side we have the Microsoft team it means our requirement is whenever the like the new message is added in the MS team then the system should send an email to the some recipients. So typing message and adding the message is a trigger and the sending email is a, an action. For this requirement we would be using these steps for the Microsoft team. We need the team ID and the channel ID but the question is how to get this ID team ID and the channel ID. So as you can see in the diagram first of all we have the organization or the company. In a company there could be the multiple team say team 1, team 2 and the and the each team has its own channels say team 1, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3. Now we have to check our requirement which team or which channel we want to track. Suppose team 1 channel 1 and conversation. Conversation could be regarding any topics or any books, any project. So if you want to monitor this channel 1, conversation of the channel 1 then we have to provide the ID of this channel 1 and the team 1 here. here. And if you want to track this team 2 then we have to provide the ID for the team 2 and then the channel of the team 2. How to get the channel ID and the team ID? When you open the Microsoft team, then we have the teams, Lotus is the name of the team and the channel. It's a by default it's a channel name. So on the Lotus team, right click on three dots, then get link to team. So you copy that link and then extract this one. The text in the red color after the team and before the conversation. This is the team ID. And the same way, click on the general channel. Say channel get link to channel and after the channel in this link this is the red color text so this is the your channel id how to get the channel id and the team id we can check with the spectacle so you can see in the left side your team so it's a lotus and general is the channel under this lotus team so by default we have only one channel that is the general but if we require then we can create more channels say create more channels. So how to get the ID of the uh, team? Lotus three dots click this one then get link to team. So from this text you can extract the team ID and the same way channel three dots click then link to channel. In the same way you can extract the channel ID from this link. Now we will check how to create the flow for the requirement of the like when you add the message that MS team then a mail should be delivered to the recipient. So create automated cloud flow select this one name of the flow my team flow then trigger the third one when a new channel message is added select this one create now we have to supply team ID and the channel ID say loading lotus. So already taken the team ID. Now add channel ID. There are two ways you can select say general otherwise you can supply the GUID of this channel. So channel and copy paste and this is our channel id now this is the textual name of the channel otherwise you can supply this id enter custom value so both way you can do this one 
you can supply the GUID for the team ID and channel ID. Otherwise, you can take the textual name of the team ID and the channel ID. Now, next step. Action. Gmail. Or Gmail, send email. Now, two. So you can pick the recipient ID from the, your team. Otherwise, you can type it manually. Lotus is gmail.com. Then subject say meeting invitation or also you can add the dynamically. Add dynamic content say message subject then body dynamically message body content so, so this is done save it now message is your flow is ready to go test manually test this one so now we can see this flow is in running mode now we test this one MS team and message this is the message for team testing flow for sending a message sending an email when this message is added now we send this message now we check the email refresh so I got this mail meeting invitation that was the subject if I check and this is the our body this message for the team testing flow for the sending email okay now we check the status of our flow power automate now we can see both steps are having the green tick mark it means this flow has been run successfully so guys this was all about the how to create the new flow for the new requirement Thanks for watching the video.